Hi everyone, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. And this week we're gonna talk about learning your tournament arsenal a little bit better and how to track it. Something that I have found and learned over the years of extreme importance when a bowling on tour and or any tournament is having an equipment log. I put it in the front of my journal because my journal's with me all the time. The reason why this is so important is I don't have all these numbers memorized. And if I'm in the middle of a competition and I'm needing to make a ball change and I'm not really sure which direction to go, sometimes just simply looking at my equipment log can help me make that decision by understanding the numbers that I have written down. So the best way to do this is just simply go to the company's website and you can find all of the specs for each bowling ball that you have in your tournament arsenal. And here I have listed the ball, the brand, the core. What that means is whether it's asymmetrical or symmetrical. The cover, is it a hybrid? Is it a pearl? Is it a solid? And then the RG and differential numbers. Another thing that I've learned by logging my equipment is I'm able to build a well-rounded arsenal. If you're logging your equipment and you notice that you have three or four bowling balls that are very, very similar, you probably don't have the most well-rounded arsenal. So use these numbers and these cores to really figure out the best tournament arsenal for you and make sure you log it. Now, if you're on these sites and you're logging all of this information in your equipment log and you're questioning what exactly do these RG and differential numbers mean, here's quick tip number two this week for you. The RG, when you're looking at that number, the lower it is, the easier that ball is gonna wanna spin. When you're looking at the differential, the lower that number is, the less hook potential it has. I really, really hope that these two little tips that I gave you this week help you to understand how to log your equipment and why it's so important. And hopefully you'll be able to really build a well-rounded arsenal so that you can be more successful in tournaments. Good luck out there, and we'll see you guys next week.